Today is indeed a proud moment for all of us as we gather here to unveil the commemorative stamp of 140 glorious years of the BSC. And we are deeply honored to have amidst us the august presence of the Honorable Union Minister for Finance, Shri Arun Jetli Ji. Thank you, sir, for sparing your precious time to be here with us. We are also deeply honored to have amongst us the Chief Postmaster General, India Post, Sri Ellen Sharma Ji with us. Thank you, sir, for being here. We are also joined by BSC Chairman, Sri Sudhakar Rao Ji, and BSC MD and CEO, Sri Ashish Kumar Chauhan Ji. As you all know, friends, that BSE is Asia's first and fastest stock exchange in the world with a speed of six microseconds. BSE has a global reach with customers around the world and a nationwide presence. Indeed, the seed sown in 1875, over 140 years, today BSE has grown into a full tree bearing great fruits. So it's just right that we all get together and celebrate the 140 glorious years of its existence. We would once again like to thank the Honorable Minister of Finance, Sri Arun Jetli Ji, for gracing the occasion with his august presence. And uh, when words are not enough, we say it with, yes, you guessed it right, we say it with flowers. I request Sri Ashish Kumar Chauhan Ji, BSC, MD and CEO, to florally welcome our chief guest, Sri Arun Jetli Ji. It is indeed such a proud moment that BSC has taken the country forward and every time we look to the Sensex to see which way we are going. A warm welcome, sir. And a warm welcome to our uh, Chief Postmaster General, India Post, Sri Ellen Sharma Ji. Thank you, sir, for being with us. Thank you very much for being with us. Let us all stand up for the national anthem. tradition in India that before starting any program, we invoke the blessings of Ma Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge and learning. So I humbly request our chief guest, Sri Arun Jetli Ji, along with other dignitaries to light the ceremonial lamp. And we earnestly pray that this light of knowledge remains in our hearts and guides the BSC along with the entire country and take the country on the path of progress further. As we say, anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, light means light. But when it comes to India, light means light of knowledge. Asato ma sad gamaya, tamaso ma jyotir gamaya, mityor ma amritam gamaya, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti Hi. Let's have a huge round of applause for our esteemed guests. Indeed, may the BSC climb even greater heights of success, doing our country proud. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. May the goddess guide us at every step 
through the light of knowledge and bring good cheer, bring prosperity and wisdom. I now request BSE MD and CEO Shri Ashish Kumar Chauhanji to formally deliver the welcome address. Sir. Honorable uh, Union uh, Minister of Finance, uh, Shri Arun Jetli ji, uh, Chairman BSE, Shri Sudhagar Rao ji, Postmaster General, Delhi Circle, Shri Alan Sharma ji, and honorable uh, members of Parliament, uh, directors on the board of BSE, current and senior officials of Ministry of Finance, SEBI, Department of Post, other departments, amb ambassadors of different countries, prominent industrialists, lawyers, intellectuals, members of BSE, some of who have come from Mumbai, Calcutta, Ahmedabad, Bikaner, and other far off places, uh, media personnel, other distinguished guests, friends, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great privilege and an honor to welcome all of you to this unveiling ceremony of postage stamp to commemorate completion of 140 years of continuous functioning of BSE. BSE was set up today, on this very day, July 9, in 1875. The entire year, we have been celebrating as the 140th year of BSE. We are grateful to the Union Government, Ministry of Post and Telecom, and Ministry of Finance for bestowing us with this great honor. Continuous operation of BSE for 140 years is a testament to the strength of Indian entrepreneurship and tell us the story of wealth creation. During the last 140 years of operations, BSE has acted as a catalyst for helping India create wealth of more than 104 lakh crore rupees, that is US dollar 1.5 trillion. BSE is ranked today as the largest stock exchange in the world in terms of number of companies listed with more than 5,400 equity shares. BSE is also ranked as the fastest stock exchange in the world with six microseconds response time. In one second, there are a million microseconds. BSE gives you state-of-the-art technology experience befitting modern Indian technological prowess and commercial prowess also to promote the entrepreneurial energy and job creation. All through its existence, BSE has focused more on investments and less on speculation. BSE will continue to help India grow in future with investment-oriented focus, which will help India create more jobs. Over the last few years, BSE has become more high-tech and also has become a multi-product exchange. From offering any only equity offerings, BSE offers now equity derivatives, currency derivatives, interest rate futures, SME, mutual funds, offer for sale, bonds, secondary market, sovereign gold bonds, EIPO, etc. BSE also has plans, sir, to set up commodities exchange uh, as soon as the approvals are received. In line with the vision of our Honorable Prime Minister, B is also in the process of setting up a new international, international exchange in Gift City, which will trade in equity derivatives, currencies, interest rate, commodities, etc. in Gandhinagar soon. In line with the Government of India's focus on Startup India, Stand Up India, BSE has taken leadership in SME segment for which uh, rupees 1,000 crore already have been raised for SMEs and market capitalization of the SME listed companies, 141, has reached more than 10,000 crores. BSE Institute has also set up an incubator with the Canadian University, Ryerson University, which has helped 78 companies, uh, small companies, to raise funds from various other sources. Sri Anand Jetli, sir, you have been a source of great inspiration for us at BSE. The revival of BSE truly started under your fair and transfer, transparent administration, sir. We will remain indebted, indebted to you forever for creating policies that provide level playing field for Indian exchanges after a long time. Sir, over the last two years, you have also provided enabling environment for Indian entrepreneurs to focus more on their business rather than coming to North Block frequently. You have prepared an economic framework which has stood India in good stead and created conditions which make India a lone signing star with high growth rate in the midst of tough international economic conditions. Today, India's growth rate is considered to be the highest among all large countries in the world. It is a testament to your economic policies. More importantly, you have prepared Indian economy for even higher growth trajectory. I am sure India is poised to grow at more than 8% this year under your leadership. I would like to take this opportunity to profusely thank you, sir, for your kind gesture of agreeing to be present here today as the chief guest for this momentous occasion for BSE. We are deeply honored with your gracious presence. With these words, I once again welcome you all to this wonderful event to celebrate the long and continuous working of one of India's greatest institutions, 
BSE, which started in 1875 as the Native Share and Stock Brokers Association, and which is one of the rare institutions of India, which has traversed three centuries continuously, 19th, 20th, and 21st century. As they say, the journey has just begun. Look forward to your continued support in the coming decades. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Mr. Chauhan. 104 lakh crore, uh, 104 lakh crore rupees generated, indeed a huge amount, and BSE has been playing a very important catalytic role in the great Indian growth story. At around 7.6%, we are now the fastest growing economy, and last night, the Honorable Prime Minister said we are poised for 8% growth. So that's really a great, great news. May I now call upon BSC Chairman, Sri Sudhakar Raoji, to say a few words. Mr. Sudhakar Rao is a retired Indian Administrative Service Officer of the 1973 batch. Currently, he's the Chairman of BSC. He is also the chairman of BSC Training Institute and of BFSI Sector Skill Council of India. Mr. Rao also serves as an independent director on the boards of several companies. On November 1, 2010, he was conferred the Kannada Rajyotsav Award under public service category by the government of Karnataka. Sir, so, we'd like to hear from you. A very good morning to all of you, and a very warm welcome. Honorable Finance Minister Shri Arun Jaitli Ji, Chief Postmaster General Shri Ellen Sharma Ji, distinguished guests, members of the press, and my colleagues from the Bombay Stock Exchange, now BSC. I'll keep my uh, address very short. Most of the salient features have already been told to you by the CEO, Mr. Ashish Chauhan. It was on 9 July 1875 that the Native Share and Stock Brokers Association, one of the first all Indian members entities formed during the British Raj, came into being. A little over 141 years later, today we celebrate and acknowledge that historic moment and the remarkable journey of the institution thereafter with the release of the commemorative postal stamp. The association, which was rechristened as the Bombay Stock Exchange in 1899, is the first stock exchange of Asia and obviously the oldest. Today, as Ashish has pointed out, it is the fastest stock exchange in the world with the speed of six microseconds and also the largest stock exchange in terms of the number of, number of companies listed. Almost a decade ago, we decided to corporatize and demutualize the exchange. Currently, apart from all the public sector banks and LIC, we have the Deutsche Bourse and Singapore Stock Exchange as a strategic investors. BSC is now professionally managed with the board and the management committed fully towards transparency and accountability. As a corollary to good corporate governance, we have applied for and received in principle approval for IPO from SEBI. In the meantime, we have taken several steps, some of which have already been told by Ashish, to improve retail participation in the Indian capital market and to implement certain other announcements made by the Honorable Finance Minister and Finance Ministry from time to time. To highlight a few, the BSC IPF does more than 2,500 investor awareness programs pan India. We also offer on a platform products like BSC Star MF and Sovereign Gold, Gold Bonds. BSC is ready to launch its commodity derivatives business and has sought approval from SEBI to commence the same. BSC is committed to establish an international stock exchange and international clearing corporation in the special economic zone being developed by the gift city. We have set up an SME platform to help government's initiative of mobilizing capital for small and medium enterprises. BSC Samman CSR Exchange is the first of its kind in the world which enables companies to undertake effective CSR activities by connecting them to non-profits and non-governmental agencies 
after due diligence. BSC is also promoting financial inclusion and literacy through its training institute. We are also actively involved in skill development and fostering innovation and startups through our incubator center established in collaboration with the Ryerson University of Canada, as was mentioned by Ashish some time back. In the 2016-17 budget presented by the Honorable Finance Minister, several initiatives to deepen the Indian capital market had been announced. We at BSC believe these are much needed and timely initiatives which address several key issues facing the markets and we are fully committed to participating in their success. For doing so and managing our own transition into a fully professional run corporate body, we look forward to the continued support and encouragement from the government and all the agencies concerned. Thank you all for being here today. Our special thanks, sir, are due for to you for having made time for this event and thereby signaling your support and confidence in BSC. And of course, the Postal Department for the generous gesture in bringing out this beautifully designed stamp. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your words. Indeed, uh, the corporate style running of BSC has come in for a lot of appreciation and awards, too. Uh, I'm reminded of uh, what Swami Vivekananda once said. He said, three things are important to make every man and every nation great. Conviction of the power of goodness, number one. Second, absence of jealousy and suspicion. And third, helping all who are trying to be and do good. And it's uh, not a surprise that BSC has, from time to time, got the Best Employer Award. Uh, so that comes for a lot of appreciation. Well, the moment is here, and we shall now move on to the celebratory moment. And I call upon the Chief Postmaster General of India Post, Sri Ellen Sharmaji, to unveil the commemorative stamp to celebrate 140 glorious years of BSC and, and present the first album to the Honorable Union Minister for Finance, Sri Arun Jetliji. Let's have a huge round of applause. This is indeed a historical moment for our country. So let's freeze the moment with pictures. So, the glorious, the historical moment has been frozen and captured in the camera. Thank you very much, sir. May I now request the Honorable Union Minister for Finance, Sri Arun Jetliji, to kindly come here on the dais and say a few words. Sir. The chairman of the BSC, Shri Sudhakar Rao, Shri Ashish Chauhan, Shri Sharma, ladies and gentlemen. I'm extremely grateful to the BSC for having uh, invited me for this formal but extremely important uh, occasion where 140 years of the BSC have been celebrated by the commemorative stamp which has been brought out by the Postal Department. 140 years, uh, history is a long one. And it's a history of a period where the world has seen uh, a changing economic order. The setting up of stock exchanges a few centuries ago in various parts of the world, in fact, one of, was one of the major economic steps of transformation.
there were circumstances, Ashish told me that uh, there was a collapse of uh, cotton industries in certain parts of the world, and the domestic cotton industries needed capital. And therefore, the economic necessity itself uh, gave birth to the BSC. But I think one of the greatest uh, revolutions that took place in raising capital, which eventually transformed into wealth generation, was this whole idea of uh, a company having a distinct identity and a company having a larger body of shareholders each unknown to the other. And if it is publicly listed, providing an opportunity to investors all over to choose the very best and invest through that mechanism itself. I wonder if uh, this whole concept of a distinct corporate identity and its uh, entitlement to raise capital and its limited liability distinct from those who manage the company, if this concept globally had not been created some centuries ago, whether economic transformation of the world would have taken place at all. And therefore, it was very important even today that this principle is upheld because uh, raising capital and generating wealth and then using that wealth to enrich the society is based on this premise. We occasionally dilute this distinction when uh, fraudulent activities take place. This itself has, uh, was probably one of the most major steps towards industrialization of the world itself. And for India's oldest stock exchange, it's extremely important that not only does it continue to prosper, in order to prosper, the credibility of uh, such institutions is extremely important. And to maintain the credibility of these institutions, I think now slowly there is an evolution over the last 20, 25 years uh, of having a strong regulatory mechanism also in place so that through the supervisory eye of that regulatory mechanism, we are able to ensure that they work with a lot of credibility and uh, they are able to deliver the very purpose for which they were created. I wonder at times if the best of the BSC and NSC is yet to come. And this is obviously for the reason that uh, having had uh, tighter and regulated economic policies in the past, a lot of uh, economic opportunities which have otherwise come to us had missed us. We tried to catch up some 25 years ago And there is a crying necessity that nothing must be left unturned today. No opportunity must be lost. Because for almost uh, a very long period prior to that, we had lost several opportunities. And obviously, the essence of uh, 
All economic activity is investment. And investment will have to come uh, from wherever the resource is available. India has another peculiar characteristic that we are a society where uh, the percentage of domestic savings is normally quite high. Now, whether domestic savings are only to be used by such instruments which give you a higher interest return and therefore create a return interest regime which is extremely costly and makes the economy sluggish or higher returns are to be got from such instruments, funds, bonds, shares, a lot of them have uh, also an element of secured investment in them which can give to people a very respectable return itself. That's the basis on which uh, pension funds and other bonds world over have been functioning. And I think these are areas of advances as we grow over the next several years and decades more and more opportunities are going to come to us. As long as I can look down through the tunnel, for a reasonably long period of time, uh, we are going to need a lot of investment. The infrastructure deficit, the industrialization deficit, which has existed for decades, is something we have to cover up for. And the starting point of all activity has to be an investment. It has to be resource raising. It has to be important uh, companies in the private sector, at times a public-private partnership, which will ensure that this deficit is met. And there is no better instrument for all this uh, than institutions like the BSE itself. The last few years have seen uh, India grow well, but essentially grow well on the strength of uh, enhanced public investment, on the strength of enhanced uh, foreign direct investment. The best of the private sector in that development process is yet to be seen. Various reasons are mentioned that it was feeling stressed and so on. There was absence of demand. Hopefully, there are some signs of uh, improved urban demand. And since the rain gods appear to be kinder this year, there would be signs of uh, increased rural demand itself. And all this in turn would lead to an opportunity for the private sector itself. And all that entails uh, a lot more activity at the end of the institutions like the BSE itself. And as I said, uh, that the best of their activities uh, and their opportunity is probably yet to be seen. This is not to undermine what they've already done in the past. It's to prepare them for the greater challenges of the future. And I'm sure the BSE would uh, get itself ready for this act. Because this is an opportunity which can come India's way. And I'm sure we'll collectively be able to utilize it to the optimum. I wish you all the very best. And I'm delighted that uh, the Postal Department uh, has uh, created an institutional memory in terms of a stamp in order to commemorate this uh, great event. Thank you very much.
Thank you, sir, for those inspirational words. Indeed, India has come a long way. It was once a third world leader. Today, we are a potential superpower. Once we were just a member of G77, a group of developing nations. Today, we are a proud member of G20, the most powerful countries in the world. And uh, good to know when you say the best is yet to come. So we'll wait. And now, I uh, request BSE Chairman Sri Sudhakar Rao ji, along with Sri Ashish Kumar Chauhan ji, MD and CEO of BSE, to present a memento as a token of thanks to the Honorable Minister, to the Honorable Union Minister of Finance, Sri Arun Jaitley ji. Thank you very much. Thank you. Also, our esteemed guest, Sri Ellen Sharma ji, Chief Postmaster General, India Post. A memento for you, sir, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. On a lighter note, uh, uh, some people like the budget because it suits them. Some like or dislike. Some people like or dislike because they objectively view it. And some just see how the Sensex is going, and then they decide whether the budget has been good or bad. Well, that is on a lighter note. But uh, now to, we are moving towards the end of the show, and I now request uh, Shrinehal Voraji, uh, the Chief Regulatory Officer of BSC, to present a vote of thanks. Uh, the Honorable Union Finance Minister of India, Sri Arun Jaitley ji, Sri Ellen Sharma, the Chief General Postmaster, the BSC Chairman, Sri Sudhakar Rao, Sri Ashish Chauhan, the MD and CEO of BSC. I feel honored and privileged for this opportunity to pro propose a vote of thanks on this historic occasion. We've gathered today at the launch of the postal stamp at the completion of 140 years of BSC. BSC, which is Asia's first stock exchange, has, has achieved this milestone with the support of all its stakeholders. BSC established in 1875, despite being the oldest, is the fastest stock exchange in the world with a speed of six microseconds. The date, July 9th, 2016, will indeed be a very memorable day in the history of BSC. The Honorable Union Minister for Finance has honored BSC with his august presence in launching BSC's postal stamp. And for this, I, on behalf of BSC, would like to profusely thank him for this honor. I would also like to thank him for his tireless efforts for the last many years in boosting the Indian economy, the results for which we are seeing right now. I would also like to thank Sri Ellen Sharma for his presence and also the officials of the Postal Department in making this event a success. Also, I would like to really thank the presence of the officials of Ministry of Finance of SEBI as well as the BSC board members who have come here in large numbers on a weekend to make this event a grand success. Sir, I would assure you that BSC will continue to support the economic growth of a great nation and provide service to our people to ensure that India takes its rightful place on the world stage. Thank you once again. Thank you very much. Our uh, esteemed guests, the chief guest, and all the dignitaries in the dais, all our friends who've come from all over the country. Thank you very much, our friends from the media, the esteemed guests, and dignitaries.